Charlotte Lomas joins us now live from Buckingham Palace. Charlotte, what do we expect to actually happen in court tomorrow? Well, the criminal complaint will be filed to the French prosecutor and it will be then up to him to decide whether to investigate and pursue the matter. And if so, they will then look at exactly how the photographs were taken and obtained and if the photographer did break the strict French law on invasion of privacy. So the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are taking this matter very seriously indeed. Not only are they seeking a legal injunction and damages against the French magazine closely but they're also now filing a criminal complaint against the paparazzi photographer, showing other publications that they are willing to take a stand and take action to try and prevent further photographs being published. Charlotte, thanks very much. Five days on and the fury continues. And now it spread to Europe. Here in Antwerp, Belgium, these protesters had a clear message. Obama, go to help. Obama, go to help. Obama. This is the latest city to witness a global protest against a film mocking the Prophet Muhammad. But the clashes were calmer than before. A similar scene was played out in Paris, where up to 100 Islamist militants were arrested near the Champs Elysees. This time, though, their anger was not at Obama. I don't think all Americans are responsible. I think the director who made this film is responsible. He used freedom of speech as a pretext to make his film credible. This is the man said to have produced the film, Nakula Vasily Nakula. Excuse me, excuse me. Do you have anything to say about, about all the turmoil your film is causing? Anything to say at all? Trying hard to conceal his identity, he is now being questioned by Californian police. Anything to say about what's going on in the Middle East? The amateur video has sparked violence in cities across the world. In Sydney, police used pepper spray as they clashed with about 200 protesters. And 9,000 miles away in Cairo, security forces stormed the streets after days of unrest, which first erupted in Libya, killing a U.S. ambassador and three other Americans. President Obama has ordered non-essential staff to leave U.S. embassies in Tunisia and Sudan. With violence now spreading to Europe, Washington is taking no risks. Charlotte Lomas, Sky News. In his latest statement, Richard Desmond, who owns Northern and Shell, strongly condemned the Irish Daily Star for publishing those photographs of Kate. He said, I am very angry at the decision to publish these photographs and I'm taking immediate steps to close down the venture. The decision to publish these pictures has no justification whatever and Northern and Shell condemns it in the strongest possible terms. So very serious words there from Richard Desmond, who also owns the Daily Star, the Daily Star on Sunday, the Daily Express and OK magazine. We understand that the joint venture is purely commercial and that Richard Desmond has no editorial control over the Irish Daily Star. And it looks like that he's considering now pulling out of his partnership in Ireland. The headlines are united and echo the strong protest from the palace. Not one British newspaper has published the photos of Kate, even though it's thought they were offered them. Why? Many believe that unlike the naked snaps of Prince Harry, which were taken on a mobile phone, these photos taken by paparazzi while the couple were on a private holiday in a private hotel were obviously breaking the rules. The newspapers in Britain are, are being extremely cautious while Leveson is going on. I think the Harry Pictures episode was uncomfortable for the Leveson inquiry, I suspect, because it, it wasn't clear-cut. I suspect this is much more a clear-cut case, and therefore there'd be a slight sign of, a sigh of relief at Leveson that, in a sense, the British press has not published it, and therefore they don't have to be seen to respond to that. While Leveson won't be responding, St James's Palace are... The furious Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have decided to sue French magazine Closer for invasion of privacy and stop it reprinting any more photos. 
It's reported Prince William took time out during their tour of Malaysia to personally call his lawyers, telling aides he's determined not to allow himself and Kate to be hounded in the way his mother, Princess Diana, was. The palace have decided it's time to make a stand. Legal success or not, they want to show the worldwide media they're willing to act. Charlotte Lomas, Sky News. According to French media reports, seven-year-old Zainab Al-Hili spoke to French police briefly before leaving France and she told them that she saw only one gunman. Now, up until now, there's been lots of speculation, but the French authorities have never confirmed whether there was one or more gunmen involved with the shootings. But according to French media, Zainab has told them that she saw one killer. Zainab is now uh, in the UK, understood to be at a British hospital recovering from her injuries. She's said to have made a rapid recovery so far after emerging from her medically induced coma. If you remember, she sustained horrific injuries during the attack. She was shot in the shoulder and badly beaten, but she's understood to be doing well here and being looked after by British doctors. Um, the French prosecutors were always keen that Zainab did return to the UK as soon as she was able able to following in the footsteps of her four-year-old sister Zena. It was always thought highly important that the two sisters were reunited and looked after by relatives as soon as possible.